tutorials. This week I'm going to be showing you how to create something really awesome. I mean, I know I say that all the time, but this is really awesome. So I was playing around the other day with my brushes and I accidentally did something and it came out pretty cool. So I want to show you how to do this. So, okay, you have a blank canvas, correct? Um, we're using white because it's going to work better with this photo, but, you know, we'll change that eventually. So now I'm going to go over here to my lovely little rectangle tool and I'm going to make a bunch of different colored lines. Now you can choose any color scheme you like for your colors, but I just happen to think that rainbow looks really awesome with this particular tutorial. So go ahead and make a rectangle of size. Um, you may need to resize it because it has to fit the whole length of your canvas. Um, okay, so we're going to start with that and then to duplicate that exact to replicate the exact shape and size of that one, just hold down your Alt key and, oops, hold on. Yeah, you gotta be in the Move section. So hold down your Alt key and, boom. And continue doing that until you have filled your whole entire canvas. Now, each individual layer is gonna be a different color, just letting you know, but I'm just making it fill in my canvas first Okay, that works. I gotta just resize my canvas just a bit. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, now each individual layer is going to be a different color. So this one's gonna be orange. Oops, that's it. Nope. Wait a minute. I'll keep that one red. Right. And again, you don't have to use my color scheme. You could totally use any one you want. I just think that this is a pretty cool color scheme and it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so once you have that made, oops, looks like our red's a little bit short. Okay. Once you have this completely made to your liking, you're going to have to actually now merge the entire shape layers you've just made together because you're going to have to make them into a You're going to have to kind of make them into a smaller yet condensed one. So go ahead and now once you've condensed those into one layer, do a Command T or a Control T and make it active so you have this. So with with that, you're now going to smush them together, just like that. Okay, that looks all right to me. I hope it looks okay to you. Okay, then we're gonna go over here and you're gonna put them into the dead center. Now, for some reason, they are a little bit off on size, but that's okay. We're gonna fix that. So. Just going to make them like this and like that and no one will know. Okay, there we go. Boom. Now, if you need to smush them further in together, you can, but that's as far as I'm going to go with mine. Um, only reason we're doing this is because when you use your brush, you want to get the entire color scheme in one a section. You don't want to have like just a green and a yellow. You want to see the entire color scheme you've chosen. And by all means, use your own color schemes. I just chose rainbow because rainbow soon seems to look pretty cool in this particular tutorial. Okay, now make a new layer above that. Um, oh, nope, I don't want to delete that. <laughs> My bad. And then on this layer, you're going to turn it white. So make that above that layer. So it's going to be white. All right, and then we're now going to add something else to make this even cooler. So we're going to now hide the white layer just for now because we're not going to use that quite yet, but we're going to use it eventually. So now you're going to pick a texture like any of these three I have here. Now I don't know which one's going to look the best because by all, because every color scheme will have a different outcome to each texture you've used. So we're going to do a trial and error and see which one looks the best. And I'm going to assume this one here will look the best, but I really don't know. So those three are the ones I've chosen. You can pick any one you like. Just go to google.com, type in um, awesome texture. Uh, and it needs to be below your white layer, by the way. Okay. Now, this is pretty large, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. 
We're going to now set this to multiply. And I kind of don't like how it looks because I think it looks a bit too not dark enough. I want it to be really kind of darkish on that. So go ahead and choose a different one. I'm going to try this one here and see if this one looks any better. Um, one of these three will. <laughs> Let's see, this one, we're going to set that to multiply. Ooh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. So far, that's a winner. So we're going to hide this layer, because that might be the choice. And we're going to try this one here and see if this one's any darker. And if, in fact, this one's darker, we will choose this one. But so far, the other one is a winner. And you're probably wondering, well, why multiply? Well, multiply makes it extremely dark, and you want to have it look on a darkish effect. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit too dark in my opinion, so, all right, this one won. Okay, so take this one and set your thing, set it to multiply, and now you can make this one visible. Okay, now we're going to work with the white layer. So on your white layer, go ahead and grab a eraser brush. Any, um, now I'm choosing ones I have already in my um, Photoshop section here, but you may not have them. Um, we've used these previously before in another tutorial, so if you want, I'll link that tutorial below so you can download these brushes I'm using, but by all means, you can use your own. Um, and again, if your brush is too big for your canvas, you can always resize. It will just it will look the same, just a little bit different. All right, let's see. Is that going to work for me? That will work for me. All right, and then when you go like this, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, hey, I like that. Okay. And you can add more or less. It doesn't really matter. And then just keep brushing on some brushes so that it goes in a line. Uh, let's see, I'll try this one. Oops, it's too small. <laughs> no. Uh, oops, it's way too small. Okay, well you get the generalized idea. Now, you'll notice here on mine that some of the actual background we've used, the texture background, is showing. In that strange event that happens to you, go back to your shape layer, do a control T, and just resize it so that it looks um, presentable. That shouldn't happen, but in that strange event that it does happen, you can. Okay. Now once you have this layer, once you have this done, now we're going to add our cool text. So go ahead and grab your type tool. And I am using a specific text for this because I think the specific text looks awesome. But um, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. I am using Shrapanel. Um, I found this on dafont.com, so that's where you can find it. So just type in any text. Just... Okay, and you want to use black for your text color because we're going to overlay this and black needs to be that color. Okay. And just so you're aware, you can, however, make these this um, canvas really small just to suit text and that's it. I made this relatively large so you'll, again, you don't really see the red that much and you just see the purple, the blue, and the on that but you know in another in the final outcome you'll notice how I made it smaller so you'll be able to see everything but yeah okay set this to overlay and ooh, hold on one second there we go voila you now have cool little text now you can place it wherever you like um, ooh, yeah, right there. That looks good. Okay. So, using the overlay effect, it will then overlay to the exact, um, color scheme you have on there. 
um, and I think blue really shows this really well, as you clearly see. So this is the tutorial. This is what what was awesome. So hopefully you guys will use this because this is really awesome. And I know for a hundred percent fact, if you made this as like a Facebook cover photo, I think you'd be the breadwinner. So definitely check this out and try it for your Facebook cover photo. I think you'd be pretty rad. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe, comment, and like. Yeah.